Hello, this is Arbitrary Library, and I want to share with you, I just got a book in the mail. It's called The Complete Book of Scales, Chords, Arpeggios, and Cadences, and it's by Alfred's Basic Piano Library. I got this book because I really suck at um, just basic fundamentals such as knowing some scales and arpeggios. I know most of the 12, but there's some that like say like G flat or the kind of obscure ones that I don't really know that well so I got this book to make sure that I understand those fundamentals because it really comes in handy when you're sight reading or when you're just um, kind of playing things by ear and just want to understand the theory of how things match up like what what chord would come next or what notes are in the song okay so this is how it looks. It costs about fifteen dollars or seven fifteen to seventeen dollars. I don't really remember, but it wasn't any more than twenty. So this is how it looks on the inside. So they go over every single major scale, every single minor scale, every single chromatic scale, and they also have some options to they say enrichment options like harmonizing scales or playing broken triads with the scales. Um, they have some music theory here to kind of refresh people that need it or to teach you if you don't know it already. Okay, um, again, basic review. Well, the first page, it kind of tells you how scales are built. If you didn't know before, um, so this is how it looks on the inside. I'm just flipping through. You see, but the important thing is that they give you fingering. Um, and I think the more I practice it, the more that I'll be able to do it from memory. So that's why they have fingering, so you know how your hand should move while you're playing the chord. If you just make it up on your own, you're not going to be able to play scales um, reliably fast or reliably consistent. That's why they have fingerings. Um, they tell you the chord numbers. This is to understand progressions, like songs have usually predictable chord progressions um, based on music theory. Um, there are some songs that have really advanced progressions, like the song in the Nightmare Before Christmas, if you watched that video, or I played Jack's Lament. Um, I don't know those chord progressions, but Danny Elfman does. He's a master composer. Um, and there's also very simple progressions like the song Lean On Me, which goes from 1 to the 4 to the 5th. So if you played it, it would, be go, it would go from C to F to G. And if you need explanation of what that means, just leave a comment. I'll explain it to you. But yeah, they talk about root positions for chords. They talk about different inversions for chords. Again, if you don't know what I'm talking about, that's okay. I used to not know. Just ask me in the comments. So I'm just slipping through and showing you. See, every single, this is what I needed. Every single scale, just with the fingerings, ways to practice the arpeggios, ways to practice the, um, the different chords in that scale. The minor scales were exactly what I needed. All these scales. Like I really need to make sure I memorize these better than I have been. Okay, so yeah, this is the book. I'm glad I bought it. And here is like a quick guide to fingerings for each scale at the end. And there's a little summary here. So, great book. Glad I got it. Um, I think it'll be a staple book in my collection for piano and I really recommend it so grab yourself a copy if you would like to just have a comprehensive guide to all the scales, chords, arpeggios and cadences for um, every scale on the piano. Okay, see you soon. Thanks for listening. Bye.